these two lonely dinosaurs are Shantangosaurus. They are resting right now. One gets up. They travel in search of food and water. They may be next to water right now, but that is seawater. These animals need fresh water to live. They both start running in search of water and food. They start to try across the sea to the other side. But they're uncertain whether or not they should do this. These animals are alone. They have lost their herd. Hadrosaurs usually live in herds but these two is, have lost theirs. One of them gets up and they make their journey into the water. After a perilous journey of swimming across the ocean, they finally reach the other side. Lucky. Lucky for them, they found another herbivore. One with horns, a triceratops. Right now these animals are thriving, eating leaves off trees. They have finally found food. But they still have lost their herd. In the distance, the roars of dinosaurs. The roars are most certainly T-Rexes. There are two types of T-Rexes on this island, a feathered one and a scaly one. Being feathered means they are male while the scaly ones are female. But the young male T-Rexes are scaly like the females, but they will grow, but their scales will later transform into feathers. What these Shantungasauruses are running towards right now is the watering hole. These giant animals are thirsty. They, but they must be careful. Where there's water, there's always carnivores. Lucky for them, these animal, these herbivores, are bigger than all the carnivores. Not be the, not the biggest herbivore but bigger than all the carnivores. But T-Rexes are far more powerful. They finally take a drink. These animals have been traveling without rest to find food and water. They have succeeded. But they're dangerously close to an adult T-Rex. They must be wary. They run toward the safest spot to take a rest. The animals deserve it. The 
Khan was over there at the watering lake. To the surprise, two other Shantungasauruses are here. They've also had a drink and some food and they've came to rest. The dinosaurs are greeting each other. They are now running towards some food. It would take weeks for them to, de to devour forests. They've come across other herbivores. The Shantongosaurus is now making a journey back to the watering hole. Now there is a sauropod. Sauropods are big animals. And even by dinosaur standards, they're huge. More carnivores are now scared off by all these herbivores. It's very common, in fact all ecosystems will have a lot more herbivores than carnivores. As this Chantongosaurus is going back to the herd, an Allosaurus is just right next to her. But the Allosaurus has no intention of attacking a large Shantongosaurus. What's right behind this Shantongosaurus is a juvenile T Rex. One of the dinosaurs tries to attack the Shantungosaurus, but these are big, heavy animals. And with one, st and one stomp is enough to threaten a carnivore's life. In fact, one stomp would eat what could easily cripple a T Rex. But well, right now, one of the Shantungosauruses has a broken leg. One of the Allosaurs decide to try and attack the Shantungosaurus. But as soon as the Shantungosaurus gets up, the Allosaurus is immediately, immediately scared. Allosaurus are very wary creatures. It can also be very, very annoying. All of a sudden, the sauropod accidentally kills the Shantungosaurus. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoy the aisle documentary I made. So um, uh, I will not be able to be making videos on uh, Sunday for the next four days. So um, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good life. Like, subscribe, stay cool. Bye bye.